This is Steve Wilson. I'm spending four days in Wells Next the Sea, a place in Norfolk, but actually it's about a mile away as I understand, although there is an estuary that connects the sea to the town. It's about 20 miles from Cromer and 15 miles from Honstanton. Wells Next the Sea. Charming name for a beautiful place, well worth a visit. I'm looking forward to seeing what's here over the next four days. Stave Street, which is the main street of the town, is really well worth a, a lovely leisurely stroll down. When the shops are open, they put all their wares outside, buckets and spades, all sorts of different colours, all, all the items that you would want for the family to enjoy a day on the beach. Very colourful to walk down that street. Really, really good to have a nose at all the different shops down there. There are one or two eating places down there as well. In fact, the town, although it's a small town, has something like six pubs, I believe, where not only can you have a drink, but you can get something to eat as well. In fact, there is a restaurant and a pub on a disused commercial cargo barge, the Albatross. That's quite different to on, to go on board such a vessel, sit at the table, have a snack and a drink on a table that's not actually very level. <laughs> very different, I must say. Still goes to sea every so often. This is the granary. Obviously it used to be a granary, but it's now apartments. Quite plush apartments, I should imagine. It has quite a picturesque harbour and the harbour is used by local fishermen who go out to sea to catch lobsters, crabs, whelks and you can see the boats bringing in what they've caught. The place became famous uh, in the 18th century. This was because it exported malt. In fact, a third of the country's exports of malt went through the Custom House at Wells. There were huge maltings in the town right up until about 1930. And there's a sandbank, or the, the sandbank, you see how the estuary curls in round the harbour from the sea. Very colourful harbour. Obviously, we're looking now at low tide. Sea's a long way away. This is the Butlands area. Quite nice to have a stroll around there, perhaps a little picnic, nice handy pub right alongside.
Wells is also one of those places around Britain's coastline that has those colourful beach huts. They're quite interesting to have a look at when you have a stroll along the beach. Most of them are roughly the same design, but each one seems to have its own character, its own colour scheme. It's just that it's a long way away from the town. There is a, a little railway that runs from the town to the beach, otherwise you can enjoy a nice stroll along the quayside part of the estuary. You can see a sandbank there when the tide's out. So that was Wells Next to Sea. Well worth a visit. Watch out for the next travel log. Bye for now.